What the fuck's up, y'all? PTB. Coming back at you again in their freaking dope ass Discord request. And today, we're going to be taking a look at a full analysis of Deftones Knife Party. I have already heard this song. Uh, this was a request put in by T of TNT. This is a channel I called Adventures of TNT. Fucking love his channel, dude. I love his live streams, love his videos, and he's a huge supporter of my empire. So, shout out goes to T. Thank you for being here, brother. Thank you for your support. He wants me to check out Deftones Night Party. I'm just going to tell you right now, brother. I fucking love this band. I love this song. I've never watched the visualizer. It's going to be my first time ever watching the visualizer. Um, but we're going to actually look into the lyrics and what I think this song is about since I've already heard it. If you guys are interested in checking out a full band cover of this song, I have it on my channel somewhere. I think it was the 12,000 subscribers special that I did a full band cover of this song. Um, minus the girl in the bridge, obviously. Um, but yeah, go check it out, man. My covers need more love. Check it out. This part right here is actually someone scraping the pick on the strings to get this sound. Steph is actually scraping his pick, the broad side of the pick. Beautiful song. Love this band. My all time favorite. Love this part. Favorite part of the whole song. Ooh, I can float here forever in this room. We can't touch the floor in here. We're all anemic in here. Fucking filled, dude. One of the best drummers in the entire fucking planet. This part's haunting, dude. Now, this part right here really always reminded me of someone getting stabbed to death by a knife. I think that's why they named this song Knife Party. This is actually Abe's wife, right? Abe's wife sings this part. I'm pretty sure. Or is it a different? It's a different girl. I can't remember. I think it is Abe's wife, though. I could be thinking of MX, though. Love that slide. I love the bass. The bass is just so good. Rest in peace, dude. That's 
sound like someone's getting stabbed with a knife. And then you'll hear a blood curdling scream coming up here. That really just makes you feel like someone's getting stabbed. Right here. It's fucking haunting, dude. 22 years later, and it still fucking gives me goosebumps. I feel that this song right here is the epitome of a psychopath singing. And it's gonna lead right into Korea after that. Um, which is one of my all time favorite songs by Deftones. Um, but yeah, this, this, this song literally is the perspective of a psychopath murdering someone. And that, that this whole album is so dark. The lyrics are just so, so fucking dark. I can't wait to get Drew into this album. Like, I, I'm literally, literally just waiting for the day that I can actually bring him into my world of listening to White Pony. Um, it's not the best album by Deftones. Um, I, I'm getting tons of arguments about this. It's not the best. The best album by Deftones, in my personal opinion, is Around the Fur. But this this album is beautiful. It's a beautiful album. Um, but this this song is so haunting. It, it's it's literally the perspective of a murderer murdering someone. That's what I feel whenever I listen to this song. This and also Digital Bath has the same perspective of the murderer. It could be the same murderer that took care of the body in the bathtub uh, by throwing the uh, it, he was gonna throw like a computer or a toaster in the bathtub. That's what digital bath's all about. It's all about murdering someone in a bathtub. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's fucking amazing. Dude. This band is way ahead of their time. They've always been way ahead of their time. Uh, I know you guys love my fucking covers. You love my analysis. You love my reactions to Deftones. Uh, but uh, I just gotta tell you, man, I've heard every single fucking crap by this band. Uh, even the ones that, that I've never heard of. I, I've heard them. Um... Or the ones that people probably never heard of, I've heard them. Like Dallas, um, Finger of Death, all that stuff. Um, this is my all-time favorite band. Like, there, there's no doubt about it. This, this band is above any other band out there, in my personal opinion. And that's why they're one of my influences for World Suspension. With speech, speaking of which, if you're still here, please go subscribe to World Suspension on YouTube. I will post it in the pinned comments. Um, I'm a huge influence by Deftones. Um, the first albums kind of sound shitty, but the newest single sounds pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely go check me out on Bandcamp and go check out um, World Suspension's YouTube. The goal is to get to 50 subscribers before the end of the year. Currently at 16 subscribers on your suspension but all right guys thank you for watching t as always thank you for your support and thank you for your request congrats on winning peace